Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon. I'm an edutainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm your host for this series. In this episode, we're going to see how you can set meetings up in Outlook, but actually make them appear and operate in Teams. We're going to link the two together and show you how to be more productive in two places at once. Join me here, if you will. We'll take a look at not Teams the way we've done throughout the episodes so far. Surprise! But rather, take a look at Outlook, because that's where we want to set our meetings up. Now, I'm using Outlook Web Access, so the online web-enabled version of my Outlook inbox. I don't use Outlook on my desktop as a traditional app that's installed because I'm on the go all the time, and I'm usually using my own laptop, but perhaps depending on where I am in the world, I'm also connecting from other machines. And so I use the web version. If you're using Outlook as a desktop application, meaning a program that you can simply click the start menu, find and launch, it works the same exact way, no difference at all. We start out in Outlook, and what we're going to do is come down here to our navigation area where our icons are at the bottom. I'm currently in my inbox looking at mail. We want to go to the second icon over, which is the calendar icon. I'm going to click there, and that's going to reset and just bring up my Outlook calendar. I have a reminder over here for one of my meetings that I have already set up in Teams. If you saw our prior episode on how to set up meetings in Teams, you saw me set that exact meeting and work with it, and you could see it's providing me a reminder here in Outlook in my calendar that it is available. And sure enough, I can see those two meetings I set in Teams are actually right here. And the trick is that we're really using the same calendar when we work with Teams as the calendar that we work with in Outlook. Surprise, yet again, same calendar. We see it in both places, set a meeting in one, shows up in the other. Now that's not the only thing we need to know about setting a meeting in Outlook and linking it to Teams but it's pretty darn close. So that part's cool. If you weren't familiar with that, that's pretty awesome because that is really a neat feature. But let's set a meeting here specifically. Let's go down, let's make one for a little later on. Let's say it's gonna be in the 8 p.m. time block. I'm just gonna zoom out so we can see all of this. I just double clicked on the calendar to bring up the meeting tile so we can add it. We're gonna add a tile. Uh, this is our Outlook, whoops. A title, not a tile. Outlook sample meeting. Okay, you would call it something a little bit more original than that. We're going to invite our attendees just like we've been doing. Let's go ahead and let's do that. And we'll put Wes in there. Can add some optional attendees, right? Let's put in Cherokee Jones. We can see she's there as well. We'll flip them around in my other demonstration in the other episode. Cherokee was required and West was optional, so we'll just flip them around. Again, date and time, all that stuff. You go in, you figure that out. How often it repeats, you figure that out. Search for a room or a location, and let's look at what's going on right over here. What's this about right here? Teams meeting. Go ahead and just toggle that over, and sure enough, that means that it's going to now be part of Teams and set up there. And so I've done that. And now I can go ahead again, add my attachments uh, and or a description, whatever I want to do in this little area. So, hello, here is the info. All right, whatever you want to put in there. And then as soon as I am done, I can go ahead and send that off to participants. I can look at the scheduling assistant if I want to see what people's schedules are and if I found a good time for us to meet. Let's send that off. Event was created right down there at the bottom successfully. Get rid of that. Outlook sample meeting. Let's just open that up. And sure enough, what do we see right there? Join Teams meeting. I'm the organizer, whoever else is there may or may not have responded, but I've got a link that lets me join that meeting from or in Teams, directly from Outlook from my calendar, and I never went into Teams to set this meeting up. I did it all from Outlook. Now, one other thing before we actually click that link, and we'll come in and take a look at that in a moment, let's go over here and let's go in to Teams. And sure enough, when we go to Teams, and we look at 8 o'clock-ish on today's date as I'm looking at my meetings. 
we see the meeting I just set up in Outlook, Outlook sample meeting, it's right there. And when I go and click on it, I can see all the information. It's right there, everything is set up correctly. And I've got the ability to join it right from here as well. And sure enough, that information about joining that Teams meeting down in the description field has been added. Same calendar, we're just using two different front ends or two different applications to access it. And that's the secret. That's why I can set up a meeting in Outlook and link it to Teams just by toggling that switch and make it show up in both places. And then no matter where I am, when I go to click that and to join that meeting from either place, when I do that, what happens? If I do it from Outlook, I get a prompt here to say, hey, this site is trying to open Teams. Do you want to open it? If you don't have the app, you can download it. Yeah, I want to open it, no problem. I've already got it open, no big deal. But what happens? Jumps right into Teams and allows me to join that meeting. Again, no microphone, but we know that. And we're just waiting for others to join. Meeting is on. All we got to do is wait for everybody to show up, right? So it's that simple. Whether I do it from Teams in the calendar, or I do it from Outlook and I link it to Teams, same back-end calendar, and as a result, same experience and ultimately same outcome. Now, you may be more familiar with, more comfortable with, and as a result, it may be more easily accessible to you to keep using Outlook for the time being and just move that little toggle switch over to set it up as a Teams meeting. Absolutely do that. But if you're coming to rely more and more on Teams and want to have that same experience and same workflow, create your meetings in Teams and you could see the outcome is the same. I'll be back with more episodes, continue to help you to become more productive in Teams. But until then, happy teaming. Oh, and don't forget Outlook. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon and thanks for watching.